All right, guys, here we are. We're gonna collect some uh, bait for today. Uh, gonna see if there's some Asian crabs around. Gonna flip some rocks and uh, see if we get any. Well, so that's what we're doing today. Just bear with me. It's a bunch of tiny little ones. some bait oh yeah 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 that's about right that's right over there where did you go I have a few more oh that's a good size oh, where did you go where did you go I think here we're gonna hit the mother low. Oh yeah. Oh that's a good one. Oh that's a good one guys. Do you see it? That's another good one. That's a big one right here. Look at that. size we can put probably two in the hook. So bait. Oh, look at this one. Oh my god. It's, it's tons of Oh, we more than enough. See guys, this is pretty much the size that we're looking for. And I think we have a bunch. So we should be okay for today. We should have more than enough. Alright guys, finally we are out again. It's gonna be low tide in about 30 minutes. Um, so we wanna catch the first two hours of the incoming tide. We're gonna try for some fluke. We're gonna go by the bridge. Um, but I guess in the meantime, we're gonna check out a couple spots for some uh, exotics, maybe some sheep's head uh, or anything that we can get our hands on. Uh, also, maybe some jumbo porgy. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, yeah, I haven't been out in a while, so I haven't been able to put any material for any videos lately. So, um, so I'm hoping today to be a really, really, really good day. On our way here, I stopped somewhere for some Asian crabs. Uh, you know, the tide was low enough that I was able to gather them pretty quick, so.
Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right after this. I mean, the tie is coming in right now. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. No, 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 I just started, yeah. All right, guys, good luck. So we didn't have any luck uh, looking for sheep's head. So we're gonna switch to fluke. The tide just starting to move. It's an incoming tide now. Um, so yeah, I think fluking should be good today. I mean, the water looks nice. Just looks like the right conditions for uh, for some fluking. All right, guys. So we're getting to our destination. Um, so I mean, I see a lot of snappers and little bait fish. So I'm gonna try to match that. Let's see if we can get a keeper fluke here. So. I'm gonna use this, uh, I think it's a five inch. I'm sorry, it's a six inch swimming mullet. Um, this we're gonna put in the main bucktail. It's a big profile. And then to match the little bait fish, I'm gonna put the gold sand eel. Let's see. get going with that uh, yeah so that's what we're gonna be doing it's our setup That's 
what's up. Shake. Let's get you in. See it guys, 22 inch, 22 inch fluke. That's what's up. As you can see here, this little guy swallowed the hook. He was released really safely, uh, but it took me a minute to remove uh, the hook carefully. So uh, I didn't want to add that in the video. Open up, buddy. Come on. So yeah, I had to edit out the big F bomb that I dropped there. Uh, I was a little upset that I dropped this fish. Uh, it felt like a really nice fluke, but uh, I guess we'll never know. So we fished this area for a little longer, but uh, we couldn't get anything else going. Uh, the bite just died down, so we decided to just head back to the spot that we were at earlier. Uh, and see and try our luck again for some sheep's head. So we fished this area for about half an hour. Uh, we tried different spots around here, but uh, there was not much going on. Uh, we connected uh, with a decent sized spory, but that was pretty much it. Um, it was really hot and we just decided to head back in. Uh, we decided to call it a day after this and uh, and head back home. Again, guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Until next time.